Hi, I'm Matthew Nilsson. I'm the Engineering Manager here at Ford Performance Racing. Welcome to Norton 360 Engineered for Speed Technical Section. Today we're going to have a look at the engine department here at Ford Performance Racing. So let's go have a look. Through here we've got our, uh, our engine build facility, um, so we try and uh, break it up a little bit to try and have a clean room basically for, for when we prepare the parts and service the engines, keep as many uh, of the impurities out of the system as we can um, so that the engines obviously perform to their best. Uh, it's actually the same next door there with the sub-assembly uh, department, they share some common facilities for, for cleaning and servicing of components, um, but as you can see it's quite a clean and, uh, and efficiently laid, laid out room. So if we go inside and have a look. As you can see, the way we lay out the room and the benches and that kind of equipment, we, we try and make it as efficient as we can for the guys to service the engine so they're not double handling parts um, and again so it's nice and clean and, and the parts are available to them as easily as we can. So along the, along the wall over here, um, it's where the actual engines get assembled. Um, so you can see here we have an engine that's, that's uh, fully ready to go for Phillip Island. Um, so that's one of our Phillip Island race engines that uh, come off the dyno, um, ready to, to go into a car when required after our test next week. Um, so we'll, we'll go to the dyno and have a look at that a bit later on where you can see the, the, the work we do there. Um, but as you can see, it's all ready to go, hopefully straight into a car for a, uh, a good result before performance racing. Um, down the other side is, as I said, where we assemble the engine. So you can see some pistons there on the bench um, ready to go when that, when that engine's uh, being assembled. Um, again, break the, break the room up to each of the departments. So down the end there is where the heads are assembled, um, ready to be delivered over here to the workbenches where the actual engines are put together. Along the side here you can see um, what looks like some, uh, some, some neat shelving. Uh, but basically inside each of these is, is an engine. Um, so we can see here, um, this particular drawer here, there, that's ready for uh, for some brand new engines. So a few components there that the guys will work through, um, all predominantly new parts to assemble some new engines. If we keep going down here, that's an engine rebuild. So an engine's come out of a car, um, make sure all the components are stripped, cleaned, uh, checked and, uh, and put on the shelf here efficiently as you can see laid out so the guys can just grab them and assemble the engines as they go. So out of that, uh, that drawer there, it would come across here to the other side of the room where the block and all the other components uh, exist on the stand and the guys would basically start to put the thing together. Once we get to the stage of the engine down the air that we saw before, we'd go next door into the dyno department and, uh, and run the engine on the dyno to make sure that reliability wise it, it's fine um, and also obviously that it achieves the numbers that, that we want to achieve before we put it in a car. A uh, brand new engine that you saw there on the shelf, it would actually go on the dyno for a period to actually run the engine in and make sure that uh, all the components are, are right to go. Um, so before it's even hit the track, it'll do a reasonable amount of time on the, on the dyno. So if we keep moving forward, you can see in here the guys are actually uh, working on the engine on the dyno as we speak. Um, so they're, they're preparing the engine ready to, to run the dyno. Um, again, check the numbers, um, check reliability, and, uh, and have it ready to deliver out to a car. If we keep moving into the room next door, um, we'll have a look at the control room. So, Obviously it's a soundproof room that the guys um, have in here, it's quite a noisy environment, so nice soundproof room um, for, the, for the guys in here. Um, and this is basically the control room, um, so we have the, the, um, the master controls here that the guys use to run the dyno cell um, and, and the key information is displayed on the screen so live uh, data is available so the guys know, know how it's all performing. Obviously we collect all that data as well for any post analysis that might need to be done. Um, so that gives a pretty good rundown of how engine department works.